He's on fire! Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back for another video. We got uh, European players before during the whiskey uh, that everybody forgot about. I know that's not what to say on the title right now. I'm just saying it in my own words. But anyway, um, the four I can think on top of my head. Uh, trying to think, did Pager come before Dirt? I know Della did. Um, Della Shrimp, he's on the uh, thumbnail. Uh, Tony Kukoc. And who else can I think of off the top of my head? Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Probably our videos are bonus. Maybe they'll put him on here. But anyway, uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the and all the good stuff. And um, just pop my knuckles. It didn't hurt enough. But um, yeah, let's get right to the video, man. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back up, to bro? NBA Got Game TV. Thanks for tuning in. The NBA has become more international than ever before. Some of the greatest players are not even from the States oh, anymore, but from all over the world. The most players that don't come from the US actually come from Europe. Back in the late 80s, European players had the reputation to be way too soft for the NBA. But in the modern days of the NBA, players like Dirk Nowitzki, Christos Pozingas, and the Greek Freak just dominate the league. Yep. But what many fans do forget is that there were other European players that paved the way for these guys. And believe me, there were many of them. So yeah, in this video we will feature European players that paved the way for the new generation of European superstars. And since there's so many, I just want to give a shout out to guys like Dino Raja, Danilovic and Rick Smith. But before we start this video, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Also, in this video, you will see a link to our Facebook page. Likes are really appreciated. And I would say, let's start. We are going to start off Who's our this? list with Sarunas Machuanis. Oh, I forgot When people about talk him. about the Golden State Warriors of the late dude. 1980s and early 1990s, Damn. you mostly hear about Run TMC. But even though Mitch Richmond, Tim Hardaway, and Chris Mullen were simply off the chain, hey. there was one player who was the true energizer on the Warriors yeah, roster. Yeah, forgot about him. Sarunas was a fearless competitor who penetrated like a bulldozer. Like a bulldozer. If you like the way Russell Westbrook plays, oh, okay. check out some highlight he videos of Sarunas, oh, and you'll be surprised. I, I forgot who left. But not only was his style of play interesting, but also his entire story. Oh. Sarunas Marcellonas had a brief yet impactful NBA career four of his seven seasons as a warrior. Shotty made oh my, look he at was tough, man. Damn. Incredible. I forgot all about him. the first European players to make it big in the NBA. Hey. Marcellonis was instrumental in the globalization of basketball. Lefty. The Lithuanian averaged Bro. 15 points a game <laughs> as a key cog during the run. Why they had no tie-dye shirts on? That shit was ugly. I'm sorry. I'm not a big tie-dye fan at all. I, don't, I never owned any shirt that was tie-dye, any clothing that was tie-dye, not even socks. I can't do it. TMC days playing alongside Hardaway, Richmond, and Mullen. Known for his brute strength and defensive prowess, Chris Mullen shares this anecdote. Sharunas, no one wanted to guard him. You know, you had a guard, he'd hurt you when he was on offense. <laughs> so he hurt you. One game, uh, Scotty Pippen and Michael Jordan. Someone was on the free throw. I was at half court with both of them. And they were arguing who was guarding Shrewness. And Mike was like, I'm not guarding him. <laughs> and not that he couldn't guard him, he just didn't want to get run over by him. You know, he had those meat hook hands. Meat you know, hook hands? Drive by, he just, you know, most guys smack the ball. He just Damn. go like this and take it from me, like, like candy from a baby. Before a leg injury caused him to miss a year and a half, the swingman finished runner up in 1992 for sixth man of the year. Yeah, he was real good. So look, oh, I knew it. I knew, I knew it. Marshallonis trying to get inside. He does. Sharunas Marshallonis, truly. A Damn, forgot about him. And the next player on our list is Detlef Schrempf. It's incredible. In the mid '90s, this player was called the best German player of all time. Oh, he was tough. And at this though. point, he really was. A 6'10 small forward that could shoot, pass, and dribble, and came from Germany. That was a sensation. He helped the Ooh. Seattle Supersonics to and make what? the finals in 1996 and was the third all-star on the roster of the Sonics, next to Sean Kemp and Gary oh, He was an all-star at one point. Schrempf was the first European to be a two-time all-star. Detlef Schrempf has risen to prominence in this league because he is a high-performance machine. All right, go hit it. 
While Reggie Miller and Chuck Person command much of the attention in Indiana, another player is making his presence felt. With the left hand? Born in Leverkusen, West Germany, Leverkusen. Shrimp came to this country as a high school student, planning eventually to return to his homeland. But while starring at the University of hey. Washington, Detlef told his family of a slight change in his future plan. <laughs> they said, I'm going to stay and doing well and uh, get a black eye. Stay there. And, uh, you know, they, they took it pretty well. The Dallas Mavericks. Oh, so Mavericks. Oh, Detlef Shrimp of the University of Washington. A surprise pick by Dallas in the like that. draft. Shrimp impressed with his all around play. He even finished second he in the right three point shooting contest. But it soon became obvious he didn't fit into the Mavericks' plan. After a couple of years, I started saying, Why did they draft me? And I wanted about the same, you know, <laughs> question. Traded in 1989, Shrimp acclimated himself quickly to the new environment. Once he got into the right system, uh, that appealed to his talents uh, that he showed what he can do from day one. Versatile. He really could. Could buy a penis. Complete player. Yeah, when I play aggressive and try to make things happen, that's when I'm most productive. <laughs> that makes him a my best six man of the week for as long as he wants to play. Winner of last season's best six man award, Shrimp knows his role. We have enough scores on the team, so all I have to do is come in and, and create something. You know, get a rebound, and get an assist. I don't have to come in and score 20 points every night. At home in America's heartland, Shrimp and his family are now here for good. And the next player on our list is Drazen Petrovic. I forgot about him. Flatly, oh, there are still a couple of NBA legends that remember and still respect the talent which was Drazen Petrovic. One of the best shooters in NBA history. This guy was unbelievable. He was. After the Portland Trailblazers didn't recognize his talent, he got traded to the New Jersey Nets, where he Went played crazy. alongside Derek Coleman and Kenny Anderson. Tragically, he died even before his prime. But believe me, this guy was something special. That dude was a true man. The Petrol for three. Damn. Nothing but Nick. I followed every game. Every game we'd have a draws and watch. See what he did against you know everybody in the league. Kenny Anderson right side. Petrovich against Joe D. 15 footer it falls. He dropped 30 on me so fast that night. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I got a hand in his face. He said so fast. Right up on him. And he was just like a machine. Reggie Miller told me one time he really loved playing against Petrovich because he could talk trash in four languages. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh oh, uh oh. Damn. He had like 40 on Jordan, and he was going at Jordan like, yo, it ain't nothing. Like, give me the ball, I'm hot. I'm taking him. Sending a little bit of a message. Let's go after Jordan. Here's Petro. Couple steps beyond three. Damn, going, going crazy on Jordan. And the last player on our list is Vladi Divas. When Vladi See, it's so many I forgot about. Angels Lakers. All these stuff for Dallas Shrimp. Replacing Kareem Abdul Jabbar would be no easy job for nobody. But even though Vladi was never a Kareem Abdul Jabbar, he was one of His the real, first real, real skill, great uh, bigs big from man. Europe that played in the NBA and made it in the NBA. He played on the roster of the Sacramento Kings in the late 1990s and early 2000s and was a vital part of their success. With the 26th pick in the 1989 NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Vladi Divac. Vladi Divac from Partizan Grel Belgrade, Yugoslavia. Remember 1989, uh, going to the airport to meet you and pick you up from a long flight, getting in the car, your luggage wasn't what it is today then, trying to talk to you when we could barely communicate. Mm -hmm. I was your first NBA coach back in 1990, and I just remember 
you know, that there was this guy that was, you know, seven feet tall that had all these, these great skills and could really shoot the ball, could pass, could dribble, could handle it, but had a hard time running back yeah, on you know, We were sitting there thinking and talking about our favorite uh, Sacramento moments, but specifically our favorite Vlade moments. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite Vlade moments is not necessarily on the court, but do you remember the rule that Vlade had for us if we lost two games in a row? You don't remember when we had to go out as a team together? And you remember, like, we lost in Houston, and uh, Vlade got the team bus, and he's driving the team bus, and we're in it, <laughs> and we take everybody except Lawrence and a couple of guys. And I think that year we had the best home record. We only lost probably uh, twice, two in a row or something mm -hmm. like that. So that's one of my favorite memories about Vlade is, you know, his leadership, but he was a silly guy. Hey, and thanks for watching this video. We really hope... So you got everybody put him on the bus, set for a couple of players, and... Went riding around. No, I mean, you gotta go, go pick up Starbucks or something like that. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, man. Like, like I said, three, three out of four, those four guys, I forgot all about. But that little shrimp, I knew mainly because he's on, the, he was on the thumbnail. But um, yeah, um, but yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. Subscribe if you're new. And if you're in any kind of videos you want me to, whoa, want me to watch and react to. Uh, let me know and I will make sure I get it done when I get a chance to. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to keep on grinding for you guys, man. Grinding for myself, grinding for you guys. Um, shout out to all my supporters, man. Y'all know who y'all are. I might do a video on my my top subscribers that be like watching all my videos, con commenting on them, uh, give me all kind of feedback and stuff like that. And even the ones that been donating, donating and stuff too. Like, I really appreciate that. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll give you more news on that um, sooner or later. But um, hope you all stay smooth, stay blessed, and I'm out.